Alright guys, it's Chatterbox Reviews, coming at you guys with Get Shorty, the Season 1 Premiere Review. So, I really, uh, really enjoyed this episode. Um, you know, I saw this show uh, advertised, you know, all over the place, really. Uh, you know, it's it pretty hyped up. I heard, you know, a lot of people talking about it. Um, so, I decided I'd check it out. Uh, another, you know, crime drama. <laughs> um, I, am, I am already, you know, watching a, probably about three of those. Um, you know, The Sinner, Ozark, and, and then this. Um, so, yeah. But, uh, you know, you can never have too many crime dramas, of course. Um, but, yeah, so... I, uh, you know, I saw the cast for this, I saw, you know, people talking about it, kind of, you know, saying that it would be a really good story and stuff, so, of course, you know, I tuned in, um, Sunday night, last night on, uh, on Epics, and, uh, and saw the premiere, um, and I, yeah, I, I, I enjoyed it, I mean, it really impressed me, I think, uh, with this show, and I think they got something good here, um, now, the only thing is that I, I have decided I'm not going to be doing a week-to-week -week review of this show, um, just because, you know, I have already five shows on the go now, uh, you know, The Sinner, uh, Suits, uh, Zoo, Salvation, uh, and, um, and, uh, you know, and Ozark, right, so, you know, you know, and, and that's kind of an interchangeable one, right, you know, that's not a week-to-week -week one, because we've already had ten episodes out, kind of just taking my time with that one, uh, trying to enjoy it, but anyway, so, yeah, you know, so I, I don't, you know, I would have time for it because, you know, it'd be a Monday, um, but I just, you know, that and kind of along with, with the lines of Epics here, you know, they released two this week, um, I think it's supposed to be one every week after this, just one episode a week, so I don't know, it's, it's kind of different, um, I haven't really watched anything on Epics before, um, so I'm just, you know, a little reluctant here, um, but really, I really like the, the premiere, I'm personally gonna keep watching, I think, um, the whole season, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this this little uh, quick review uh, recap for the premiere. And then I'm also going to do a complete uh, season review um, where that one I sort of just really, really condense um, the ideas of what happened. Maybe talk about the plot for each episode. Um, and in this case, um, I won't be able to do this. But with my other shows, I'm going to basically average out the ratings for each episode and then get an overall rating for the season. Um, so I think that'll be really cool to see what that comes out to be for the shows, um, and then sort of rank the season, um, along with other seasons, if, if the show has that, like Suits, there, you know, there's been seven seasons, so kind of rank it, um, so I think that's what I'm gonna do for all my shows then, when the season ends, um, and this one I, I will as well, obviously it's gonna be a little bit different, because I don't have a rating from each episode, um, but nonetheless, I think, uh, I think it'll turn out well, so, yeah, so you can expect this, this episode here, and then later on, uh, when the uh, episode, I think we're getting 10 episodes for this season one, um, so when the 10th episode done, is the finale, the finale is done, then I will, uh, make a, a complete review, and, uh, just try to wrap everything up there, and, and, uh, you know, get, hopefully get your guys' opinions as well, if you, uh, if you tuned in, so, anyways, like I said, just a really quick week recap here, I'm not gonna touch on everything, uh, but just some little important things, and I'm gonna share my, uh, my main thoughts and my highlights of the episode, so, uh, basically, we start off, you know, the older uh, woman, uh, who we find out is named Amara later on. Um, so she basically uh, has this man kidnapped and taken in the van uh, for not paying up, and she's kind of sitting at the restaurant there. Um, so just right away, they kind of hit us with an unexpected thing, you know. She just looks like a nice, you know, older woman um, sitting in the restaurant there, uh, <laughs> having, uh, having food there. Um, and then all of a sudden, this guy is just kidnapped in a van. Um, so it kind of gives you that wow factor, you know, right off the bat. I really like that. Um, and yeah, so, and she obviously, you know, is the leader of, uh, this big drug ring. Um, and it's also different because, you know, it's, it's usually always a man depicted in TV shows and movies, right? Um, uh, but they're kind of using an older woman in this. So it's interesting, uh, spin on it, uh, definitely. Um, and I, and I like it though. I, I really like the spin. I think it's, I think it adds to the show. So, and then we kind of get the idea that Miles is trying to get back together with his wife. Um, he sees a movie with his daughter um, and, you know, tries to give his wife a ring on the way out. Um, and by the way, you know, the daughter and my, the Miles, you know, and his daughter dynamic is also, you know, pretty, pretty nice, uh, pretty nice, um, you know, thing to play on there because 
uh, you know, the daughter later on, you know, even tells him, uh, you know, about, uh, you know, secrets maybe about, <laughs> about, um, his, his wife or her mom, uh, you know, that she didn't know that the, uh, the boyfriend was coming that we see, so, um, so yeah, so it's kind of, you know, they have a really, really close relationship, even though, you know, she doesn't live with him, so that's really interesting, um, anyways, he tries to buy his wife a ring, uh, you know, he says it's been six months, uh, since they separated, I guess, obviously they're not divorced, I don't think, uh, but it's been six months, but she refuses, um, and he thinks, you know, it's because of what he, you know, he does for a living, his job, and, uh, you know, later on, uh, we find out what his job is, so, um, so we meet, uh, basically, you know, the Miles character, and, uh, Lewis is, uh, basically, you know, his partner, I, I'm not necessarily gonna say friend, because I don't really know what the relationship is there, but it looks like they've known each other for a long time, so I'm gonna guess a friend, um, but yeah, so we kind of see them, and they dispose of this body, of uh, the man who was kidnapped earlier in the van, uh, so, uh, yeah, it's kind of, like, it just gets right to it, uh, pretty gruesome early on, um, and yeah, we kind of learn what they do for a living, right, I mean, <laughs> wow, uh, you know, they're kind of, uh, not hitmen even, because they're not really killing, uh, the, the, uh, the people, they're kind of just, you know, covering it up and getting, getting rid of the bodies or whatever, right, so, really interesting, um, and it's kind of funny, because, you know, they're so nonchalant about it, you know, just picking up a body, put them in the trunk, right, uh, so that's kind of the funny factor, now in this, I didn't, going into it, I didn't think that it was gonna have a lot of comedy, I thought it was a serious, uh, you know, uh, crime drama, um, but, and that's the one thing that I kind of lacked for me, and that I kind of didn't like about it, um, that kind of turned me off a little bit, um, is the comedy, uh, side of it, I mean, I don't mind some comedy, but, you know, throughout this, we, we saw, you know, intentional, uh, intentional, you know, things at, at, uh, creating comedy, and, and kind of, you know, creating some laughs here and there about, you know, some irony and stuff in it, so, you know, not bad, I mean, I think that's what it was kind of advertised, I kind of missed out on that, I guess, um, but I'm just, you know, I'm not a huge fan of, you know, those comedy shows, you know, sitcom sort of stuff, and this isn't anywhere close, don't get me wrong, but I'm just not a huge fan of that, I'd rather just see the drama aspect of it every week, excuse me, so, you know, it is what it is, uh, but that's just how I personally feel, but, um, I think it added to the show in a positive way, uh, still, just, you know, not my preference, so, then we see, uh, Amar's son, Yago, uh, who's basically, you know, taking over the, um, the casino there that she owns, um, and kind of, you know, is Miles and Lewis's boss, um, so he sends Miles and Lewis to LA, uh, to get money from uh, a guy, and he says, you know, to close the account if he doesn't have the money for them, um, and this kind of sparks the whole, uh, the whole storyline, basically, of the show, um, is that they go to LA and, and, uh, find this guy, so, yeah, so they take this trip to Hollywood, uh, they go to his apartment, and he lives with this Nathan guy that we met before, so this is some of the irony I'm talking about, um, how, you know, it all just kind of comes back around, and he's living with the same guy that we met earlier, uh, who is, uh, you know, the male, uh, uh, <laughs> I guess, I don't know if he's really a prostitute, I don't think he is, uh, but obviously, you know, he was working for, uh, <laughs> or not, you know, uh, I don't know how to say it, really, but, like, he, you know, Tyler, the actor, or whatever, um, paid him, right, uh, to get a blowjob, right, or whatever in the trailer, um, so, kind of funny that it ends up being him, but anyway, so, the guy tries to run, uh, from, uh, from, uh, Miles and Lewis once they find him, uh, it's just a funny scene when he tries to get away and they, they get him back, um, and, you know, kind of, uh, Miles is kind of talking to him, getting interest in this movie, kind of buying it, and then Lewis all, the, all, all of a sudden kills him, um, and, uh, and, uh, gets blood all over the movie script that, you know, this idea is coming from, uh, you know, Lewis doesn't really buy it at all, he's not interested, but Miles actually takes the movie script with him, um, the, that the guy writ, or, uh, that the guy had written, and, uh, and, yeah, so it has blood on it, so, you know, it's not too valuable anymore, of course, but, uh, you know, Miles kind of buying it, and, uh, he wants to really look into it, so, that's kind of the whole storyline of this, that, 
you know, he finds the script by killing uh, someone here, uh, which is just hilarious in itself, right? You know, the irony there. So, anyways, it's, you know, okay, you know, it's kind of funny um, uh, scene there, you know, where he, where he dies as well, uh, you know, where he's asking if he has paper towels before he kills him, stuff like that. So, it's, it, there was a lot of comedy. That, that's sort of maybe what I'm trying to get at. There was a lot of comedy, um, for, for it to be a serious show. Like, I think it's more of a comedy show than it actually is a crime drama, in my opinion, just because of the stuff we saw this episode, uh, but maybe they wanted to start it a little later, this one, um, and sort of build on it, I'm not sure, um, but then, uh, you know, we meet, uh, Rick Morweather, who's played by Ray Romano, uh, you know, or, uh, you know, he's great, uh, he was in Everybody Loves Raymond, of course, uh, that's kind of his famous, uh, role there, um, and he's a great actor, so we kind of meet him, he's a struggling producer, um, and he's making this hunted movie, I think it's called, uh, with this actor named Tyler, whatever, um, and so, you know, we kind of meet him, we kind of get introduced to his character, and then eventually, uh, Miles, later on, goes to his, uh, goes to Rick's office, um, and basically wants to pitch him the script idea, um, and sadly, for his sake, Rick actually declines, says he doesn't have enough money for that, uh, right now, you know, he's just funding stuff that's being sell sold in Germany and Europe or something like that, he said, so he doesn't have the money for this. So, after Miles gets turned down, obviously, you know, he still has the script, and he still wants to do something with it, uh, so, you know, he kind of gets down to his, his, you know, last option here, obviously, you know, he didn't want to do this at first, um, but he ends up, you know, driving in the truck, uh, with Amara, the, the older woman there, and her son, uh, uh, Yaga, Yoga, yeah, uh, <laughs> Yaga, I guess, or Yago, sorry, um, so, they, uh, they kind of drive, and of course, you know, the, the thing happened with Iago and, uh, Miles before, where, you know, Miles kind of outsmarted him, and, uh, and, you know, took his gun away, so he was, not, he was upset about that, um, and so basically, he asked Amara, uh, for money to produce the, uh, movie script to make it into a movie, uh, since, you know, Rick didn't agree, uh, but, you know, basically, he's gonna use Amara's money, um, you know, as a silent partner, and then kind of put Rick's name on it a little bit, and let him sort of, you know, handle the whole movie aspect, because Miles doesn't know anything, uh, but really, you know, he kind of proposed it as a way to clean her money, that it would be, you know, 100% clean money, um, that the profits that which she would get from this from this movie right so definitely a good idea right they can't you know she she would have you know it's a good idea she can't pass it up really um so it's kind of you know money laundering through the through the making of this movie um and so she tells him that she'll think about it um and uh and yeah so uh you know miles pretty happy about it uh you know we kind of see his face that he didn't really think that she would she would say that so he was surprised um, and yeah, so it kind of, uh, ends off like that, um, on that note, you know, uh, so obviously I think she will accept, uh, you know, and she will end up giving her the money for it, and, uh, then it'll be the start of a, of a very, very shady, uh, movie creation, uh, so it should be really interesting, um, and then, yeah, so just, I touched on it before, but the Miles and his daughter dynamic is, is definitely interesting in this one, um, and we kind of get the idea that everything he does is kind of working towards getting his family back together, you know, getting back with his wife and his daughter, you know, moving, moving, you know, uh, physically being, you know, together again. So I think that's, you know, sort of what his whole intention is with this movie, you know, making it kind of switching professions finally. And he thinks that's going to, you know, woo over, uh, over his wife. Um, so, you know, definitely, uh, definitely a good thought, a good thought for Miles, you know, obviously, you know, why would, why would anybody be with him when he's doing a job like he is, um, now I'm not sure if his wife knows the full extent of it, um, but obviously she knows that, you know, he does some shady stuff at least, um, or at least that's the impression I got, so, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely really interesting episode here, it kind of leaves it off that, uh, you know, he kind of throws the script in the truck, and, uh, and then we get the credits, so definitely leading to big things, um, I thought, you know, the Miles character was really good, uh, you know, Chris, Chris O'Dowd played it, played it really well, um, I will get to that a little bit later as well, um, so yeah, and I just wanted to mention Epics, you know, great show for, for you guys, um, I mean, this, I haven't really heard, of, I heard of them once or twice before this show, 
uh, you know, but just minor things. I, you know, I haven't really heard. Um, I heard, like, a couple of movie marathons or something on there. Um, and, you know, kind of their slogan is movies, I guess. That's what they're known for. Uh, but this is an Epic's, like, original show. So it's kind of like a Netflix original only on, uh, on Epic. So, uh, yeah, it's interesting to see that they got this show. Um, and definitely good for them. I mean, uh, to have this show, I think it's going to be a popular show. I think, um, or at least after season one, I think it's going to get a lot of attention get rolling and i think seasons two season two is going to be great for them i think so yeah really kudos to them for for making the show getting the cast that they did um and and of course you know the showrunner uh you know is probably more responsible for the cast and stuff like that but um just for epics for picking it up and uh, and running with it so yeah really uh, really great uh, cre credit goes to them so anyways now i'll get to my rating for this episode so, like I said, I enjoyed this episode. Uh, my rating for this one I'm going to give is a 4.5 out of 5. Um, so, uh, this is even a little bit of high of a rating, uh, from, in my opinion. Um, for me personally, right, and, and this rating is kind of, you know, a personal opinion, right? Um, and, you know, I just didn't really like all the comedy stuff. I kind of tuned in thinking it'd be a crime drama and it'd, you know, be serious. But there was a lot of a lot of you know funny moments and comedy more than I think there was even serious kind of you know scary suspenseful moments. So for me, like I said before, I'm not a big comedy fan, um, and I'm you know I, I like the serious drama stuff um, and the, and the thinking you know the psychological stuff. So um, I'm kind of you know kind of dis disinterested a little bit but still going to tune into the show for sure and there were so many good things about this i mean the intro the introduction to these characters um just some of the scenes were great um you know the whole thing about how the nathan character kind of connects back um you know uh having the side-by-side -side stories of rick's story that we kind of see throughout and then we see miles uh story and at the very end they meet uh which which is you know usually the end of a movie right you know that's a big scene um, but we get to see it in episode one of this show, so it's, you know, a great way they did that, um, and yeah, I mean, and that, the cast is just amazing, you know, Chris O'Dowd, um, playing, I, the, playing the main character here, so, yeah, I, I, you know, I'm really impressed by it, 4.5 out of 5, um, but yeah, so I, I think it's good, I think it's gonna be great, I think the season's gonna be good, um, I am a little bit confused about how they're doing it, though, I mean, they put two episodes out now, and like I said before, I've heard that people have already seen the third one. I'm not sure how, but yeah, I mean, it. you know, there's lots of ways, but um, obviously Epix did release it in a third episode that wasn't on their network. So I don't know what to say, um, and I'm not sure how the rest of the season is going to be out, uh, but I'll be tuning in uh, as, as long as I can. <laughs> I'm going to going to try um and uh, and and watch it out and then i'll be back uh with you guys after the finale to give a complete season recap so that is that and my favorite character for this one to wrap it up is miles daly of course main character we get to meet him you know meet his intent intentions here uh with it getting his family back together and uh chris o'dowd is is really funny i actually didn't know how funny he was um, you know, he, uh, the Irish accent is, is just funny, you know, in, in all the stuff he says, the way, you know, he says it, of course, is, is just funny without him trying to make jokes and trying to be funny, right, so, you know, that just kind of adds to it, um, I think he's playing this Miles character, uh, great so far, at least what from what I've, uh, seen now in this episode, um, and yeah, so I think it's, I think this show is definitely gonna go up, I think there's gonna be some really good episodes of this, and, uh, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm excited, um, the only thing I have about this is, you know, I'm wondering how long a movie production can go on for, right, <laughs> I mean, uh, I don't, I've said this with other shows, though, too, uh, including Zoo, which I still review now, um, you know, how, how is this gonna last more than one or two seasons, but it ha it has, you know, the writers find a way, they, uh, write themselves into a corner, right, and then they get out, um, and so, you know, it's, it's really cool, actually, you know, we really have to appreciate what the writers do on these shows, um, but I, I, you know, I say this now that this show may not, you know, have a storyline to last a lot of seasons, but I think somehow they, they would end up doing it if the show got popular enough, I haven't seen the ratings or the 
amount of viewers for this one yet. Um, I'm not sure how Epix is going to release that either. Maybe maybe they aren't maybe they aren't going to release it until the very end. I'm not sure because it's sort of like a Netflix thing, right? But I think it is a it is it is a channel as well. So, anyways, um, yeah, I think it's going to be I think it's going to be good, and uh, definitely I think season two is going to be really good. I think that's when this show is going to get a lot of a lot of uh, you know people run into it and uh, and really uh, gas you know hooking on to it and uh, and watching it so anyways guys that's my review of the get shorty season one premiere or i guess the show premiere the series premiere on epics um yeah that is basically it for this one i will see you guys next time for my next review it'll be ozark season one episode five so stay tuned see you guys then. Thank you.